Hi, my name is Taylor Dill, and I'm the PhD student for Battle for the Belt. We're up here at the Northwest Agricultural Research Station in the corn plots. And uh, it's August 17th, and we wanted to compare yield estimates for each of our location with the yield estimates for the rest of the state from Ohio Country Journal. And uh, different agronomists and researchers and extension specialists tend to do those yield estimates as well. So we're going to do our planting date one and three for yield estimates as planting date four and five uh, are still pollinating. So it won't be a very accurate yield estimate quite yet. We'd have to wait a couple more weeks for those. But first I'm gonna show you how to do yield estimates. So the first step is to take um, 17 feet, five inches of row. In our lab, we use stand count poles. So we'll pull this out to be 17 feet, five inches, which is one one thousandth of an acre. And we'll count the population for one row of corn. So we only need to count one row of corn to get our population. So our population is 32,000 plants per acre. And then our next step is to look at every fifth ear and look at our yield components. So we count every fifth ear and we take the ear, the dominant ear, and we count how many kernel rows we have and then how many kernels in the row we have. So I like to keep my thumb on one row so I can count around. So we have 14 around on this particular ear and 33 kernels in a row. Now when you're counting the kernels in a row, you don't necessarily need to count the entire cob. When you have more jumbled kernels down here, we don't necessarily count the bottom. And as they get smaller at the top, we don't count the top. We count the even kernels here. And we'll do that um, six more times or five more times for this population. So we got our five more ears and we did our ear components and we take each ear component and average it out. So we had an average of 14 kernel rows and an average of 33 kernels per row. And so to find how many bushels of, per acre that we estimate, we will multiply our population, which was 32, so how many plants that you counted, 32 multiplied by our average kernel row, which is 14, multiplied by our average kernel per row, which was 33. We multiply all of those together, and then we divide by what we call our fudge factor. The fudge factor is accounting for what our kernel size and weight is. And we can vary it based on how big our kernels are. In the other locations, I have used uh, 90 rather than 85. 85 is our normal average because uh, after this method was developed, our corn kernels got bigger uh, because of plant breeding. But sometimes the environment affects our kernel size. And if you have smaller kernels, we can account for that by using the fudge factor of 90 rather than the normal 85. At this location, our kernels are fairly big, so I would use the 85. I'm here at the Western Research Station doing yield estimates. We're looking at planting date one and planting date three at each location. Here at Western, planting date one was planted on April 13th, and planting date three was planted on May 11th. Now, like at other locations, we do see a yield estimate difference between planting date one and three. Planting date one had an average of 14 kernel rows, so we had a slimmer ear. And planting date three had an average of 16 kernel rows. So we have a little bit girthier of an ear in planting date three. The average yield estimate for planting date one is 152 bushels an acre, and planting date three is 175 bushels an acre. Some of that yield discrepancy could be because in planting date one, we've been seeing more of these smaller ears. And we'll do abnormal ear measurements at the end of the season. So we'll have more information about how many of these we have, but I have been seeing more of these than in other planting dates. 
So this could be the reason why we might have a lower yield in planting date one. We're out here at the Worcester location doing yield estimates. At each location, we're doing planting date one and three. And I'm actually standing in front of both of those planting dates in this replication. So planting date one is on my left and planting date three is on my right. We planted on April 14th for planting date one at this location and May 11th for planting date three. Now we can actually see a difference between these planting dates at this location. And our planting date one, we had 14 kernel rows and 16 for planting date three. We're also at around R3 for both. Now we do have uh, multiple hybrids, so it varies, but generally, generally we are at R3. So there has been a uh, yield estimation difference. Planting date one is estimated to yield 140 bushels per acre and planting date three, 223. Now I did use the fudge factor of 90 here rather than the normal 85, just because these kernels seem to be a little bit, little bit smaller than other locations. Overall, with our yield estimates, at each location, there was a significant difference between planting date one and planting date three. At the Worcester location, we saw an 85 bushel difference between planting date one and planting date three. At the Western location, we saw a 25 bushel difference and at the northwest location, we saw a 40 bushel difference. With our statistics later in the season, we'll be able to verify whether the environment or uh, another abiotic factor caused our yield differences. But those are the averages that we have seen across the board. Now, in comparison to the rest of the state, our northwest location had a normal average with the rest of the northern re region. Um, with their average ranging from 190 to around 240. So we're right in the middle of that range. And then at our western location, we're actually a little bit lower than the rest of the state with their range around 180 to 220. So we're a little bit low on uh, that part of the state. So we'll see what the rest of the season brings us and if our yield estimates match up with what our actual yield uh, when the combine runs through uh, is. So good luck with the rest of the season.